What's up y'all? My name is Shade Renee and I have got a story to tell my younger self. I'ma name this story should have known. I am a hairstylist and wig maker with a wig store in Atlanta. Should have known. In my journey of becoming a hairstylist, I've gone through some crazy experiences. And um, I went to Howard. While I was at Howard, I decided that I wanted to start selling hair. And back then, it was real tight-lipped on where you get your vendors and like, people was not giving that information. So I decided to go a route where I would purchase hair from a lady that I seen on Instagram. I think her name was like Bundles by Brie or something like that. Don't quote me. Um, they probably out of business. They should be out of business. And I decided to, um, you know, reach out and ask them for the wholesale list because I wanted to wholesale some hair. So I wouldn't have to look for vendors. I would just be able to purchase directly from someone in the United States, wait for my order, and then it'll ship. Should have known. This company had more followers than me. Um, it looked like it was ran by, you know, a reputable woman that was um, selling hair and stuff, but I did not test the hair. I just was like, okay, well, it looks good. Her prices are really good. I'm doing hair right now and I wanted some extra money. So I was like, let me go ahead and hit her up. So I hit her up. Um, at the time, I probably had got my refund or something from school and I had a little extra cash. Um, I was dating this guy. I will not disclose his name, but I was dating this guy and he had told me that he would help me um with you know getting my first order long story short when it was time to pay i went ahead and paid for it myself and when i got the hair um i feel like i ordered like a variety of different lengths when i got the hair i already had appointments booked gassing them up letting them know how great this hair was gonna be based off of the girl instagram so I was like, yeah, um, when you come, I'm going to have my hair. Y'all got to buy no hair. Let me just provide the hair for your appointment. So I'm like, okay, boom, my order. It should be here within, I don't know, two weeks or so. So by week three, I was already ready to book clients and everything. So I get the hair. I'm in my college dorm room, and it's a small room. Um, it was me by myself um in the room i just i get a big package i open it up open it up start looking through the hair i'm like okay it feels nice it's cool it's brazilian hair at the time so i'm like okay cool um let me go ahead and let my clients know where to go so they book the appointments they come the first girl comes i'll never forget her um uh, she was so sweet she was my really good client too um, I never seen her again after this experience. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, the first girl comes and I'm like, uh, yeah, I got the hair, whatever. At the time, the bundles were like wrapped. So it was like wave, body wavy. And then it had the string going around it. Um, as soon as I clicked the string, it had lights in it. So I was like, oh. Um, it's probably like little nits, it's dead, whatever. So I'm telling her like, oh, I think this is a bad batch. Let me, um, you know, let me figure out another thing. So I ended up having some hair from another, another vendor that I was trying and I ended up installing it, but that hair wasn't great. So let me pause. I have a fully booked schedule in my dorm room as an unlicensed hairstylist at the time and i got all this hair that has lice in it so i'm like itching i'm like oh it's, it's something ain't right this hair it's got lice it's got lice it's got lice i don't care if the lice is dead or whatever i don't care it's, it's got lice so i re immediately reach out to the vendor and i'm like well the girl and i'm like yo this hair got lice in it as soon as you cut the the bundle the little wrapping it's full of lice nits. I'm like, um, I don't know what to do. She's talking about she ain't never seen it, but it's probably carpet or something like she 
she used to do her content on the floor that's a red flag doing content where they spreading out the hair on the floor whatever so she tried to blame it on like lice like carpet bits or something so i'm like no i'm googling researching i already done fucked up somebody well excuse me i already done messed up somebody appointment by not having the hair that they needed but you know at the time she needed some hair so i i was like you know i didn't charge her. i was like okay well you know just let's use this and then i'm gonna get back to you so i'm like itching everything around me is i i feel like i got lice now I'm on Google, I go to, um, like, I think it was called um, CVS or Rite Aid near campus. So I hurry up and go there, and I'm looking for the lice kit to try to treat the hair for my next client. Because, like, remember, I told you, I already pre-ordered all this hair so that I could even afford it. So I go, and I'm like, um, give me the lice kit, whatever. And I try to rake through the hair with the lice. Um, it's like a special comb or whatever. And I'm like, this is taking away the integrity of the hair like you know with body wave hair you're not going to be able to get that curl back that that body wave back because it's like steam curled so i'm like oh my god what am i gonna do the lady is still giving me a hard time luckily i use paypal and i was able to file a dispute with them um she was trying to say like oh you know you need to send the hair back so I was like, okay, I'm gonna send it back because I can't use this because it's got lice in it. And I can't believe anyone else wouldn't have told you it. And I was like, I don't know if I got a bad batch or whatever, but I should have known looking back. I was probably her first wholesale order. I don't think that she was prepared to fulfill the demand. I don't think that she treated the hair, make sure that the hair was up to standard before sending it. I just think that she sent me some some bs and probably knew it was bs or she did like a drop shipping where she shipped it directly from china to me so she never got to see it to do a quality control check and it was just a bad bad batch of hair with lice so i'm i'm just like livid i'm like you guys i'm basically telling everybody like i'm sorry i'm not gonna be able to do your hair you gonna have to find some other hair because my vendor, you know, kind of messed me up or whatever. Luckily, I was really well known as a good hairstylist. This is just something I was trying and I was selling the hair for not that much. Back then, hair wasn't that much. So I was like, you know, I'm sorry, you know, let me give you a refund or let me do your hair for free to cover the cost of the hair that you about to buy. So my clients was cool or whatever, but I was just like disgusted. I was upset. I felt like I was played. Um, I felt like I could have done more research. I should have given my money to someone that I actually trusted. I kind of just bumped into her on Instagram and was like, yeah, I'm going to say this to say like, if you really, you have a new business and you have a great product, you should never be afraid to promote yourself, whether you got two likes or 200 likes or 2000 likes, because there's someone out there like me who is looking for someone that they don't know and is having money and willing to spend money on your brand just based off of what you're saying this girl wasn't extremely popular but she was popular enough in my eyes to where i was like a newbie in the hair industry that i sent her fifteen hundred dollars without even blinking and she sent me some bs so i'll say that to say like just make sure that you are vetting as a person that's purchasing as a consumer make sure that you are not just falling for the first thing and also know that popularity is not going to always get you the best results um because it's just not it's just false a lot of things out here is false but a lot of people have great products and they're starting but they're not putting it out because they don't have following or because they think nobody's watching people are watching you um i'm also lead with remember i told y'all my ex-boyfriend had told me he was gonna give me the money so i'm in a bond right now because my money's all tied up so i asked him you know to give me some cash i'm gonna pause right here <laughs> 